Here's a really simple formula you need to think about if you wanna get stronger or more powerful in the weight room. You need to think about training in terms of output per unit of effort. So what do I mean by that? If a single unit of effort is like a repetition, one rep, when we're trying to get stronger, more powerful, we're trying to maximize our output per rep. So what does this mean? It means a couple of things. One, it means we should actually rest between our sets. I know people like to do high volume, high repetition work with low rest, but when you do that, your effort per rep or output per rep actually drops, becomes somewhat fatigued and hindered by the fact that you're just doing lots and lots of volume. You can't actually do each rep with the maximal amount of effort you potentially could. Number two, you should actually be ready for your workout. If you wanna get stronger and you wanna get more powerful, in order to optimize your output per effort, actually be warmed up, be ready to go for your sets and your reps. And lastly, number three, is the number of repetitions you do, right? If you want to improve your output per rep, not doing a million reps in one set might be a good idea. Maybe minimizing the reps per set is actually beneficial. So instead of doing 10 sets, sorry, four sets of 10 reps, you should probably do something maybe like 10 sets of four reps with rest in between. Now I just said 10 sets for the sake of example, but the idea is still there. Each repetition, because you're resting a little bit in between each set, is performed at a higher output. Think about it like this. If I were to do 10 repetitions, each repetition, my force and my velocity would drop off slower, lower, lower, and lower each rep. But if I did four reps for 10 sets, I'd go one, two, three, four, then I'd recover one, two, three, four. So each repetition might be falling within say 90% of my maximal output abilities. If I did 10 repetitions, of those 10 repetitions, if four are in the 90% realm, maybe six actually fall within the, I don't know, 90 to 80, maybe even 75% output. Think about maximizing your output per effort. That will change your mindset and how you train for strength and power.